and gentlemen, at this time, we say you please rise for today's invocation offered by Jordan Reigns. And remain standing to honor America with the playing of our national anthem, played by the best sounding band in the land, the Spirit of Northwestern Purple Haze Pep Band. If you would, bow your heads with me. Dear Lord, I thank you for another day you've given us, God. I pray for protection over these ladies, God, and just anything they do will glorify you, Lord. I thank you for everything you've given us, Lord, and just get us home safely after this game. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Welcome to Prather Coliseum on the beautiful campus of the Northwestern State University. And now let's get ready for today's game by meeting our starting lineups. First for our visitors from Hammond. At guard, a 5'8 sophomore from Rain, Louisiana, number five, Charlie Dugas. At guard, a 5'7 senior from Livingston, Louisiana, number 14, Taylin Underwood. At guard, a 5'8 sophomore from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, number 24, Tyler Morrison. At forward, a six-foot freshman from Brule, Louisiana, number 25, Caitlin Williams. And at guard, a 5'8 junior from Abbeville, Louisiana, number 30, Ashayla Bailey. Head coach of the Lions is Ayla Gazzardo, assisted by Kenneth Lee Jr., Asia Gibson, and Chelsea Butler. And now, fans, on your feet! And welcome to today's Northwestern State Starters. At guard, a 5'5 junior from Dallas, Texas, number zero, Nautica Grant. At guard, a 5'4 sophomore from Arlington, Texas, number one, Gabby Bell. At forward, a 6'1 junior from Huntsville, Alabama. Number 22, Libba Gillum. At forward, a 5'11 sophomore from McKinney, Texas. Number 23, Jocelyn Scott. And at forward, a 5'0 senior from DeRitter, Louisiana. Number 44, Tia Youngblood. Head coach for the Demons is Jordan Dupuis, assisted by Deneen Parker, Aaron Crane, and Olivia Grayson. Madison Academy, Gillum, the leading scorer for the Lady Demons that is currently active, averaging just under 11 points per ball game. One update from across the street at Brown Stroud Field. The uh, Demons won games one and two of their baseball series against Pennsylvania, but are trailing in game three, one to nothing in the top of the fifth inning with a couple of folks out and a couple of guys on. Robert Burke, the very talented freshman third game or Sunday starter is uh, out of the ball game after he uh, gave up one run in four and two thirds. So we'll keep up to date on that. Meanwhile, the Lady Demons softball team dropped all three games at Texas Tech, a pair of two to one decisions yesterday. Uh, both of them in, uh, in um, sacrifice fly last at bat, walk off sacrifice flies. Lady Demons actually had a one to nothing lead in the bottom of the seventh with two outs and gave up a solo home run. 
and uh, rallied to tie it at one in the second game. They went to extra innings and ultimately lost in nine, but then lost today 12 to four. Wind was blowing out in Lubbock. We are set to go. The Lions wearing their black on black uniform, southeastern across the front, black numbers trimmed in gold. Lady Demons in the white on white with Northwestern State and number on the front, purple trimmed in orange, and a number on the back. Southeastern wins the tip. Tyler Morrison will control the point. Taylor Underwood at the top. Works it left wing to Charlie Dugas. Now fires it back to Taylor Underwood. Underwood works back to the basket. Now back up top to Dugas. Dugas skips it right baseline, trying to get it back to Underwood. They do, guarded closely by Jocelyn Scott. Underwood drives, spins inside, loses it, goes it, flips it underneath. Shot is blocked by Tia Youngblood, and the Youngblood rips the rebound away and is fouled. Foul called on Ashaley Braley. So the Lady Demons get a block on the first possession. Tia Youngblood taking care of that making her sixth start of the year, the senior, the lone senior for this Lady Demon squad. Down the left side of the lane, shot blocked there as Libba Gillum was tried, tried to go from the right elbow down the left side of the lane, and her shot was blocked. Ball out long in the hands of Tyler Morrison. Flip it around left wing. A Shaley Braley will drive, flip it all the way back out to the right wing for three, short by Charlie Dugas, rebound pulled down, Gabby Bell has it, she flips it ahead, Jocelyn Scott looking inside, back to Bell, top of the key, Libba Gillum, Gillum flips it back out, now they go inside to Youngblood, Youngblood steps in, goes up off glass too strong, offensive rebound and a jump ball. Possession will stay with the Lady Demons as Jocelyn Scott got her hands on it. No score, minute 15 into the first quarter of action. Lady Demons trying to play spoiler. The Lady Lions one game out of eighth place in Southland Conference play. Lady Demons are now inbound from the left baseline. They get it out long to Scott at the top. Back to Gabby Bell, cuts all the way back to the top. 11 to shoot. High screen and roll with Gillum. Bell works to the right elbow, steps back with five, drive, flip, flips it right corner, right baseline drive, cut off with two. A long two on the way is an air ball by Tia Youngblood, and Taylan Underwood comes ahead with it, flips it out. Charlie Duga all the way back out to Underwood in the corner. Taylan Underwood pulls it all the way back out in the hands of Caitlin Williams. Lady Demons are no catching Taylan Underwood, fronting her, face guarding her all the way around the court. They get it out to her. Underwood flips it to the free throw line. Drive from there, a little bump, layup up and good for Caitlin Williams. Her first point of the ball game makes it two to nothing Southeastern. With two minutes and three seconds into the first quarter of play. Jocelyn Scott left wing, zone defense by Southeastern. Gillum in the corner, flips it to a cutting Nautica Grant. Grant flips it back to Bell. Bell with 12 to shoot drives into the right corner. Jocelyn Scott drives as it kicked away with nine to shoot. Lady Demons have missed their first three shots. One was blocked. That was Libba Gillum's effort. Lady Demons will inbound from the right baseline with nine to shoot. Gabby Bell will do the honors. Looking, gets it to Gillum. Gillum with the left hand, spins baseline, needs to put one up, gets into traffic, throws it up no good, but she's bailed out with the foul. Foul called on Caitlin Williams is her first, and that will send the nearly automatic Libba Gillum to the free throw line. Gillum a 94% free throw shooter. She had made pretty much every free throw to start the season and has missed a few in the last couple of games. Gillum, a matter of fact, had was three for four in her 17-point effort against Incarnate Word in the Lady Demons' latest loss. Gillum makes both. We're tied at two. Two and a half minutes into the first quarter of play. Right side, Tyler Morrison pulls it back out. Charlie Dugas. Dugas tripped and falled, and that's going to be called on Tia Youngblood for a blocking foul. Marlon Ramsey, Timothy Hackett, and Jody Taylor are your three officials for this one. Inbound from the left baseline for Southeastern. They get into the corner. All the way back out for Ashaley Braley. She'll pick up the dribble. 
Feed to Morrison. Morrison pulls it back. Lady Demons playing zone here. They lob it to the right elbow. Back out long into the left corner. Three on the way from there. Rattles in and out. No good for a Shaley Braley. Rebound to the Lady Demons. Nautica Grant sort of limping her way into the front court, but she is battling a left leg injury and just going to have to battle it. Jordan Dupuis saying they are going to start her because from what they understand from the doctors is the Lady Demons will commit an offensive foul. Gabby Bell pushing off as the ball was going to go into the backcourt anyway. It was going to be a turnover on the Lady Demons regardless. NSU, one of the most turnover prone teams in the nation. 20 and a half turnovers a game. Amazingly enough, just second most in the Southland Conference, or second to worst, I should say, in the Southland Conference. They skip the ball right wing. In the hands of Charlie Dugas, she'll drive past Nautica Grant, throw it up with the right hand, good. Dugas, her first point, so the ball game makes it four to two. Gabby Bell into the front court, Southeastern. Playing a little zone defense here. Jocelyn Scott to Gabby Bell at the top. Back to Scott on the right wing. Trying to go inside. Can't get it there. Now skips it around left wing to Nautica Grant. Grant into the corner for Tia Youngblood. Youngblood with seven to shoot. Goes to Jocelyn Scott on the left baseline. She pulls that from 15. No good. Rebound pulled down by the Lady Lions. Morrison into the front court. Flips it left wing. Into the left corner it goes. Three from a Shaley Braley is an air ball. And that will be tracked down in the corner by Southeastern. They'll throw it back out. Braley pulls it all the way back out to Taylor Underwood. Excuse me, Tyler Morrison. Morrison on the dribble. Picks up her dribble long. Feeds it up top. Braley skips it in the left corner. Three on the way from Dugas. Sticks between the backboard and the rim. Shot clock will stay at two seconds as that's a jump ball. Possession will stay with Southeastern Louisiana. Sub in for the Lions, Kyla Williams, 5'11", junior transfer from New Orleans, Louisiana, out of Cabrini High School in Hutchinson Community College. And so southeastern Louisiana will have two on the shot clock to try to get this off. And they're going to reset, though, because it hit the rim. Hey, back down. So a fresh 30 as the ball, I, the ball got stuck between the rim and the backboard. New shot clock and the jump ball possession will stay with Southeastern. Try to work it inside and a foul is called on Libba Gillum. Gillum will pick up her first. That is the third team foul against the Lady Demons. Inbound from the right baseline again. They lob it out into the left corner. Little pull up from 12 off the drive is good for Charlie Dugas. Six to two in favor of Southeastern. Nautica Grant, right corner Libba Gillum. Gillum dribbles back to the right elbow, flips it inside. Jocelyn Scott drives, lays it up no good. Gets her own rebound. Now ball's on the ground to be picked up by the Lady Lions. They'll have it, and they'll come out with it. Flip it ahead to Taylor Underwood. Underwood skips it to the right wing. A Shaley Braley, she'll pull it back out. The back cut on the right side. That's all the way back out to the right wing. Drive by Braley. Skips it out left side. Dugas with the drive, and that's an easy bucket. And Jordan Dupuis has to call a timeout. Six in a row scored by Southeastern Louisiana. And we've got our first quarter media timeout. 4.51 left to go in the first quarter. 8-2 to two, Southeastern with the lead. We'll take a break. Come back with more after this. You're listening to the Demon Sports Network. The best seat in the house. Also, we want to take this moment to recognize our guest coaches for the evening. Ms. Christine Farrell from the Department of Foreign Language and Cultural Studies. And also Mr. Steve Grusbeck, Director of Service Learning.
walk-ons into Pendant's Bolt, Chevy Land, A Bear Town and Country, Manpower, Mike and Kenny Knotts, Salter Bus Lines, and Kilpatrick Life. Score update from down at Brown Stroud Field right across the way. Tyler Smith with a solo home run to right field. It's tied it up at one apiece in the bottom of the fifth inning between Penn and Northwestern State. It's the final game of that three-game set. They had to move it because of inclement weather. And so uh, we're seeing game three. Libba Gillum works it inside, misses the lay-in. Tia Youngblood flies in, and she's fouled on the rebound. Foul will be called on Tyler Morrison, her first. The Lady Demons have not hit a shot yet. They are 0 for 5 from the field. Meanwhile, Southeastern is 4 of 9 from the field. Lady Demons will get the inbound to Gillum, left baseline. Loses it, stripped away, and is picked up by Southeastern. Out with it, Tyler Morrison. She'll bring it into the front court, works to the left wing. Pulls it back out. Lady Demons have subbed in. Three on the way. That one's in short, but an offensive rebound off the miss by Taylor Underwood. Lady Demons have brought in Jasmine Johnson, 5'8", sophomore from West Monroe, out of West Monroe High School. She comes in for Nautica Grant. Bit of a defensive liability with the, that uh, bad leg. Underwood spins, flips it right wing. A Shaley Braley for three, and it's good. Braley, her first points of the ballgame, and it is 11-2. In favor of Southeastern Louisiana, the Lady Demons 0 for 6 from the field. Gillum, Scott, and Youngblood have all missed a pair. Gillum has it at the left elbow. Thought about driving, now flips it inside to Youngblood. Youngblood goes up with it. Too strong. Rebound pulled down by Southeastern. Kaylin Underwood wants to run up the right side. She'll cross over. She'll take it in the lane, and she's fouled. Foul called on Jasmine Johnson. That is her first. And so, Taylor Underwood, the second leading scorer in the Southland Conference, had 11 and five in the first matchup, but had six assists as the Lady Demons did a nice job on her, but her teammates were able to uh, have big games. Jaya Francis had 12 points in that one. Charlie Dugas had 12 points in that one. Tyler Morrison had eight points and 11 rebounds. So a lot of other folks were able to get going in that one in the first matchup. Both free throws are good for Taylor Underwood, her first two points of the ball game, and it is an 11-0 run for Southeastern Louisiana. They lead 13-2, playing a little bit of a matchup 2-3 or a 1-1-3 zone. Jocelyn Scott, three right corner, back iron no good. Rebound knocked around, controlled by Southeastern. Into the ball game for the Lady Demons, Victoria Miller. Six-foot sophomore from Carrollton, Texas, out of Hebron High School. And they're going to have a foul called on Gabby Bell. As our official, I believe that was Jody Taylor, just did a kung fu move to describe what the foul Gabby Bell committed. That's her second. He did a, a normal sort of push move, like a two-hand push, but then he added sort of, sort of an overhand chop to it, like he was waxing on and waxing off like Danielson from Karate Kid. I've never seen that particular referee movement. I don't know what that was. I know, you normally see the push, but you don't see the chop in, in addition to it. Both free throws are good. So Southeastern takes a 13-point lead. They're on a 15-2 run to open this ball game. A Shaley Braley with two free throws. Lady Demons had the basketball. Left wing Nautica Grant back in. Feed it inside. Turnaround on the way is good for Victoria Miller. And the Lady Demons finally have their first bucket. After starting 0 for 8, they're now 1 for 9. Braley out long. Drives right wing. Drive from there. Back to the right wing. Back to Shulvin for three. That one misses everything, and the rebound pulled down by Victoria Miller. Ahead to Jocelyn Scott. She'll drive in. She's fouled, and that'll be free throws for Jocelyn Scott, and that'll be the first foul on Taylor Underwood. Jacqueline Shulvin checking in. 5'7", junior from Mandeville, Louisiana, at a Fontainebleau High School. She is into the ball game for the first time and just missed that three off the backboard. First free throw is up and good for Jocelyn Scott, her first point of the ball game. Lady Demons have struggled finding a secondary score last six games. 
Well, the Demons have had just one double-digit score. And that's it. Trying to find that second one. Lady Demons have scored four in a row now. Both free throws good for Jocelyn Scott, her first points of the ballgame. Scott definitely one that could get into double digits. She had nine against Incarnate Word Wednesday. Straight drive down the left baseline and an easy lay-in for Taylor Underwood. 17 to six. Southeastern with the lead. Nautica Grant continues to have to run the point here with Gabby Bell out. Ball at the top for Libba Gillum. Left side Grant. Grant though dealing with that injured foot. She gets it to the free throw line and an illegal screen call will be made against Libba Gillum. And Gillum will pick up her second personal. So she is going to have to sit. A minute 56 left to go in the first quarter of action as Leah Barnes checks into the ball game. Barnes, 6'1", junior transfer from Richfield, Minnesota, out of Richfield High School and the North Dakota State College of Science. Drive from the right side, spin and a traveling violation. Morgan Carrier called for the travel. 5'9", freshman from New Iberia, Louisiana, New Iberia High School. Lady Demons with the basketball. Right wing, Lacey Savage, who's just checked in. Six-foot freshman from Houston, Texas, out of Clear Creek High School. Nautica Grant, left corner, Victoria Miller. Miller holds as Barnes cuts through to the short corner left baseline. 12 to shoot. Barnes skips it up to Grant. Ball will be saved from going back court. Grant comes away with it with six to shoot. Into the left corner, Jocelyn Scott. She'll drive left baseline, three to shoot. Back to Grant with two. Pump fakes, just gets it off in time. No good. Offensive rebound inside. Savage puts it back up and in. Nice job by Lacey Savage of working the offensive glass. Grant had to shoot the desperation, too. And Lacey Savage was able to slip through, grab the offensive rebound, and put it back up and in. Southeastern with the basketball. Morgan Carrier looks for the back cut to Underwood. Threw it to no one in particular. Actually threw it to Leah Barnes. Ahead to Nautica Grant up the right side. Grant will stop and fire a three. Front iron no good. Rebound pulled down by Southeastern. Kaylin Underwood will bring it up the right-hand side. Drive the right baseline with it. That should be an offensive foul, and it is. She just threw her body right in to Leah Barnes. And Kaylin Underwood, the second leading scorer in the Southland Conference, will have to sit. So both leading scorers are sitting for the foreseeable future. Libba Gillum has two, Taylor Underwood has two. So expect both of them to sit for a significant period of time, perhaps even the rest of the half. Ayla Gazzardo can get away with it since she currently has the 17 to eight lead. All at the top, left wing Jocelyn Scott. Scott. Will drive with the right hand down the right side of the lane, up high off glass and good. Tough shot for Jocelyn Scott, but she knocks it home. 17 to 10 is the lead. Penn has retaken the lead in the top of the sixth inning against the Demons, three to one, as NSU tries to find a way to sweep that series against Penn after they took two of three last weekend against Binghamton. Three from the top, that one is no good for Carrier. Rebound pulled down by Nautica Grant. She'll launch it ahead, and just before half, couldn't quite get it ahead to Leah Barnes. So the quarter comes to an end. Lady Demons do a nice job of coming back after giving up a 15-2 run to start the game. Lady Demons closed the quarter on a, an 8-2 spurt. 17-10, the Southeastern lead. We'll take a break, come back with more after this on the Demons Sports Network.
Coach Demon Sports Network broadcast is brought to you by State Farm agent Buddy Wood, Jim Pledger, Glenn Talbert, Mike Murphy, Linda Luck, Tommy Chester, Trey Murray, Mickey Walker, and Julie Henderson. Northwestern State down 17 to 10 at the end of quarter number one. The Lions 43% in the first quarter of action. They were six of 14. The Lady Demons shot just 23% from the field. They were three of 13. Good news though for the Lady Demons is they only turned it over three times and that is one of their big bugaboos is turning it over. However, they're gonna have to go without Gabby Bell, their point guard, probably for the rest of the half as she picked up two fouls. Ball on the right baseline, Leah Barnes, she'll pull that 12-footer, rattles around, hits the backboard and goes down. First points of the ball game for Leah Barnes and the Lady Demons have climbed back to within 17 to 12. The Lady Demons on a 10 to two run right now, spanning the first quarter break. Ball on the right wing, Tyler Morrison, top of the key, Jacqueline Shulvin. Shulvin flips it right wing, Morgan Carrier. Carrier back to Morrison. Morrison flips it left corner, three on the way from there. His back iron no good. Lacey Savage rips down the rebound and then ball is knocked out of bounds by Southeastern Louisiana. Lady Lions will bring in Caitlin Williams and a Shaley Braley. So both of them back in, starters. The Lady Lions six and nine in the Southland Conference. One game behind McNeese in eighth place. Only eight teams go to the Southland Conference Tournament. Lady Demons go high-low, work it inside. That shot is up and good for Victoria Miller. Miller's got four. Lady Demons have cut the lead to three. NSU on a 12-2 run. Shulvin up top, a Shaley Braley around left wing. Charlie Dugas, around into the corner it goes. Back up top to Shulvin. Shulvin with 10 to shoot. Gonna call for the isolation pick and roll. Splits the defenders, has it stripped. Picked up by Lacey Savage. Savage will fly into the front court. She has it stripped, but gets it back. Hands off to Nautica Grant. Eight and a half left to go in the first half. Lady Demons down three in the midst of a 12 to two run. Grant off a screen, works to the left elbow, step back from 10, rack iron no good. Rebound pulled down by Shulvin. Shulvin looks to run, now she's gonna stop. Cross to the middle. In the front court, Tyler Morrison, she'll pull it back. Shulvin skips it right corner. A Shaley Braley will drive from there, give it off. All the way around to the right baseline, nice defense by the Lady Demons, switching everything. Braley around to the left wing to Morrison. Nine to shoot, Morrison will drive and she's fouled. Pretty Come here. Come here. weak body contact going down the left side. Jocelyn Scott will pick up her first personal. Called on the floor. So Southeastern will inbound from the left baseline. They'll get into the corner, wide open for three. That's no good. Offensive rebound and all the way back out to Shulvin. She'll drive, flip it up with the right hand, no good. Rebound pulled down by Savage, ahead to Nautica Grant. Grant loses it, gets it back, she'll penetrate. Stop, flips it inside, high off the glass, no good. And the rebound after the miss by Victoria Miller, pulled down by Charlie Dugas. She'll drive the left side. Dugas goes up with it, lays it up and in. Eight for Charlie Dugas. That ends a 12-2 run by the Lady Demons. To get right back into this one, Savage feeds it to a cutting Victoria Miller who loses it. Ball is on the ground. It actually goes between the legs of Grant back to Leah Barnes. Grant has it again, Jocelyn Scott, three from the left wing, count it! And a timeout taken by Ayla Gazzardo as Jocelyn Scott has seven. That's the lead to two, 7-10 left to go in the second quarter. Northwestern State down by two, we'll take a full break, full timeout, come back with more after this. You're listening to the Demon Sports Network. If you don't want to miss it, Friday, March 2nd, for the NSU Lady Demons Softball Opening Day.
7-10 left to go in the first half of play. Northwestern State lead, trails 19-17. Lady Demons down as much as 13 in the first quarter. They got down 15-2 to to open the game, but then went on a 12-2 run. Right now it's a 14-4 run. Excuse me, a 15-4 run. As of right now for the Lady Demons, who will be on defense after Jocelyn Scott knocked down the three. Head coach Jordan Dupuy for the Lady Demons talking about the need to find that second double-digit score. They've been without one for six straight games. Well, Jocelyn Scott starting the way off nicely with seven. Drive from the right baseline, cut off there, gets around that, misses the lay-in. Rebound knocked around, finally controlled by Southeastern. Back to Shulvin on the left wing. She'll throw it all the way back out. Left baseline drive, shot is blocked, but the foul is called on Victoria Miller. And she got sort of side contact on the body. And that'll be two free throws for Charlie Dugas. Dugas, the sophomore from Rain, Louisiana, Rain High School, had 12 points, four rebounds, and three assists in the first matchup. The Lady Demons lost to that one. By a score of 71-65. First free throw is good. Second free throw misses off the back rim for Dugas. She's got nine to lead the way for Southeastern. Nautica Grant out long. Lady Demons down by three with six and a half left to go in the first half of play. Grant on the dribble directing traffic. Gets it to Lacey Savage right wing. Savage top of the key. Leah Barnes, 11 to shoot. Hand off to Grant. Grant at the top, feeds it to Jocelyn Scott, looking inside, gets it to the free throw line. Barnes will drive the right side, and that's going to be a blocking foul called on Shulvin, and that'll be two free throws. Foul on Jacqueline Shulvin is her first. Shulvin had 13 in the first matchup against NSU. You mentioned it was Taylin Underwood who does the majority of the scoring for this Lady Lion team. She's the only player in averaging more than eight points a game. The first free throw is no good. First free throw missed by Leah Barnes. 6-11 left to go in the first half. Lady Demons down by three. And as she was started the second half, three of five from the field after the first half, they were three of 13. Both free throws no good by Leah Barnes. Southeastern clears the rebound. Tyler Morrison into the front court with it. Right wing it goes. Now on the cutting side, right side, and that's an easy lay-in for Caitlin Williams. Williams slipped the screen and cut right through. Lady Demons break the pressure of Southeastern easily. Nautica Grant into the front court. Out long on the dribble. Picks up her dribble, gives to Jocelyn Scott. Scott, top of the key to Lacey Savage. 13 to shoot, right wing Leah Barnes. Barnes looking for a cutter. Grant can't find her. Now Barnes will drive down the right side, put it up, no good back iron. Rebound pulled down by Southeastern. It was a good drive by Barnes. Just need to probably go window on that one. Shulvin drives right baseline all the way through. Reverse, no good off glass. Rebound pulled down by Victoria Miller. Miller will hand to Barnes. Barnes flips it ahead to Grant in the front court. Left wing, Jocelyn Scott. Scott, lob back out to Savage at the top. Right wing, Leah Barnes. Inside to Scott. Scott turns, catches it, puts it up with the left hand, no good. Rebound tipped and controlled by Southeastern. Two on one the other way, up the left hand side, Dugas. She'll bounce it to the right side, Shulvin, who lays it up and in. Back to a seven-point lead as Southeastern has scored the last five points in a row. 4.45 left to go. Grant, Barnes, left corner, wide open for three. Jocelyn Scott, good. She knocks down another. Well, she's the first double-digit scorer. She's got ten. Shulvin back the other way, guarded by Savage. Flips it mid-post. Baseline turn, no good by Caitlin Williams. Rebound to the Lady Demons. Here comes Jocelyn Scott into the front court. She almost thought about taking that three again. Grant, right wing, looking inside, works off the screen and roll. Grant steps back, skips to Scott, left wing. Scott waiting for someone to come open. She'll drive, now give it left side. Drive that time by Miller, cut off. Flips it back out. Drive from the left side again, and that's going to be out of bounds. Should be off of Southeastern with seven to shoot. Shulvin tipped that ball by Savage as she was falling down, going out of bounds. Jada Freeman will check in for the Lady Demons for the first time. 5'8 freshman from Irving, Texas out of Ranch View High School. Replacing Nautica Grant. 
Lacey Savage will come out and Jasmine Johnson back in. Freeman will inbound from the left baseline. Gets it into Leah Barnes with six to shoot. Hand back off to Freeman. Freeman with three. She'll drive, lose it. Picked up by Southeastern. No numbers as Carrier brings it into the front court. Gives to Tyler Morrison. Morrison works all the way to the left elbow and pulls it back out to the left wing. Top the key to Carrier. Right corner to Shaldon. She'll just stop and take that three. Misses it badly. Rebound goes bouncing off the back of Southeastern Louisiana into the corner. Picked up by Jasmine Johnson. She'll fly into the front court. Left wing, Jocelyn Scott. Ten-point score so far. Gives inside. Leah Barnes turns to face at the left elbow. Drives the left side. Misses it. Gets her own rebound. And now we're going to have a jump ball on the rebound. Possession will go back to Southeastern. And Jordan Dupuy tells her, look, it's okay to miss the shot, get your own rebound, but don't bring the ball back down. You're 6-1. Keep the ball up above your head so they can't tie you up when you get the rebound. Lady Demons down four here, 24-20 with 3.14 left to go. Morgan Carrier, left wing. Skips it right wing to Jackie Shulvin. Shulvin will drive right baseline, cut off. Flips it back to Carrier. Carrier stops, picks up her dribble, four to shoot. Drive from the left side, pull up at the left elbow is good for Shaley Braley. 26-20, little full court pressure here by Southeastern. Jada Freeman will flip it ahead. Jocelyn Scott. Lady Demons need to get it across, and they do just in time. Jasmine Johnson up top to Freeman. Freeman will back it out. 15 to shoot. A little bit of an adventure getting it into the front court for the Lady Demons, but they're there. Victoria Miller holds, now drives with the right hand, stripped from behind, picked up by Southeastern. They'll flip it ahead to Shulvin. Shulvin up the right-hand side, pump fakes and gets the foul before the shot. Let's go out. Foul on the floor will be committed by Jada Freeman. Freeman picks up her first. So baseline inbound for Southeastern with 2.27 left to go in the first half. Don't forget, we'll have Demon basketball against Southeastern immediately following this one. They lob it into Braley. She'll drive left wing to Shulvin. Tough catch. She'll pull it back out. Shulvin dribbling just inside of half court. Demons over at Brown Stroud Field now down four, a six to one in the sixth inning as Penn has blown that one open. Short corner left side. They try to flip it inside and throw it right to Jasmine Johnson, who can't hang on to it, and it goes out of bounds. She looked like the offensive player down on the block, but unfortunately she couldn't hang on to it. So they're going to keep the ball, keep the uh, shot clock at nine. Southeastern will inbound from the left baseline. Morrison will do the honors. Flips it out to Carrier. Carrier flips it left corner to Shulvin with four to shoot. She fires a three and buries it. Jacqueline Shulvin has five, and it is back to a nine-point lead for Southeastern on a 10-3 run right now. They trap. Lady Demons get two in the same spot. Jada Freeman, though, is fouled as she takes it down the middle of the lane. The foul will be called on Jacqueline Shulvin, who just knocked down that three. That's her second. So Taylor Underwood, Jacqueline Shulvin, both with two fouls. And Courtney Dawsey will check into the ballgame. 5'6", sophomore from right in Hammond out of St. Thomas Aquinas High School. Minute 45 left. Lady Demons down nine, and we're going to have a hold. A Shaley Braley picks up her second. So Braley with seven. She will head out of the ball game, and Kyla Williams will check back in. Lady Demons will inbound once again from the right baseline. They get it in. Leah Barnes drives, goes up, no foul call, even though a lot of contact. Ball on the floor, Barnes comes away with it. It's knocked out of bounds by Southeastern, 24 to shoot. Minute 39 left. Lady Demons down nine, needs some good offensive possessions here. Shooting just 32% for this ball game. Freeman is going to lob it out to Jocelyn Scott at the top. Scott hands it back to Freeman with 19 to shoot. A minute and a half left. Lady Demons down 29-20. Freeman off the screen, works to the right elbow, backs out. Tries to go inside, now gives it in the corner. Jasmine Johnson, skip pass left corner. Drive from there, back up top to Jocelyn Scott. Deep three, front iron no good. Rebound pulled down by Southeastern. Tyler Morrison brings into the front court, skips it right wing. 
Courtney Dawsey will drive with the left hand, goes into the into traffic, throws it up off glass, no good. Rebound tapped out, but in control of Leah Barnes of NSU. Johnson ahead to Jada Freeman. Top of the key, Leah Barnes, left wing Jocelyn Scott. Scott already with 10, bounce pass inside, turn around is up and good off glass for Victoria Miller. Hit the front iron, hit the backboard and went down on the turnaround for Victoria Miller. She's got six. So the Lady Demons nearing two double digit scores. Ball out long, they get it up top. Courtney Dawsey who just missed that wild shot. She'll work once again, work with the left hand, step it all the way back out, right wing, three on the way from there, back iron no good. Rebound Jasmine Johnson, she'll bring it ahead. Pull it back out, Jada Freeman, no shot clock. Lady Demons can hold for one shot here. 17 seconds left to go, Jada Freeman. Back out long, dribbling out with Tyler Morrison on her with seven, with six. Here comes the screen and roll. Freeman takes it out, loses it. Two seconds, back the other way. Carrier throws it up from just inside a half court. It's no good. And Jordan Dupuy with some strong words for Jada Freeman. They head back to the locker room. Northwestern State down by seven. At By the way, Kelsey Richard just hitting a uh, two-run shot in the bottom of the seventh inning. The Demons have cut the lead to 7-3 to three in the final game of that one against Penn. They work it inside to Jocelyn Scott. High off glass and good. Nice job. Libba Gillum high-low with Jocelyn Scott. She's got 12 to lead the way for all scores. Taylor Underwood back on the floor, gives it to a cutter, layup up and good for Caitlin Williams. 31-24, little full court pressure here by Southeastern. Gillum gets it ahead to Tia Youngblood, flips it left wing to Nautica Grant, left corner Scott, she'll fire a three, buries it, Jocelyn Scott's on fire. 15 for her, her third made three of the ball game. Now the question is, can they find a second double digit score besides Jocelyn Scott? Drive left baseline, shot is blocked, rebound pulled down offensive off the miss by Dugas, skip it all the way back out. Top of the key and all the way around to Tyler Morrison into the left corner, three from a Shaley Braley is short, rebound, Dillon will eventually pull up with it, no, Underwood rips it away from her. All the way back out it goes. Hand off to Tyler Morrison. Morrison will hold long with 20 to shoot, we're a minute 13 in, Lady Demons down four, 31-27. Underwood has it up top, works off the high screen. Double team there, flips it out to Braley into the left corner. Drive left baseline, cut off, ball is loose, six to shoot. Ball on the floor, floor throw back out to Braley into the left corner with two to shoot. Drive with one, throw it up with the right hand, no good. Rebound pulled down by Gillum eventually on the baseline. Flips it out to Gabby Bell, Bell will turn and run up the floor. Bring it up the right hand side, step back. Youngblood has position inside, she'll give it to her on the right baseline, turn to face. Youngblood works inside, goes through, she travel. But they're going to call the foul instead. Foul called on a Shaley Braley. That's her third. I'm not going to argue foul, but you missed the shot. And uh, Ayla Gazzardo comes out to say she's not going to argue the foul, but the travel happened before the foul. Youngblood definitely traveled, but the foul was called first. And so that'll be two free throws for Tia Youngblood. With 8-10 left to go in the third quarter of action in Northwestern State down by four. Lady Demons have come out and hit their first two shots of the third quarter, both courtesy of Jocelyn Scott. 
Got a nice lay-in inside and then knocked down a three from the corner as Youngblood misses the first free throw. It is her senior day here at Northwestern State. Tia Youngblood, the lone senior for this Northwestern State Lady Demon squad. Misses the second one. Rebound pulled down by Caitlin Williams of Southeastern. They get it to Tyler Morrison. Morrison into the front court with it. Works with the left hand. Pulls it back out. Morrison all the way around to the right side. Drives right baseline. Layup up and good. Morrison, her first points of the ball game. And Southeastern will pressure full court. Lady Demons will break that. Gabby Bell working all the way around to the right side. Now flips it ahead to Nautica Grant. Grant spins out between defenders to Jocelyn Scott. Three left wing, misses that one. Rebound is on the floor. Gillum will pick it up, and that'll be a jump ball. Possession will go back to Southeastern. 33-27, Lions with the lead. Northwestern State trying to find a way to play spoiler here. Lady Demons own a... 27 game advantage in the win-loss column as Gabby Bell forces the turnover but can't quite get up, come up with it. Tyler Morrison gets it back between her legs and then the turnover happens anyway as Caitlin Williams threw it to the corner but Morrison wasn't there. So the Lady Demons get it back regardless. Northwestern State down by six with a basketball. That is the first turnover of the third quarter by Southeastern. They have just five for the game. Tia Youngblood gets the catch. She'll drive left side. Lose it, gets it back. Nautica Grant out long. Grant flips it to Libba Gillum, right elbow. Looking inside, and a foul call is going to be made on Taylin Underwood, and that's her third. So Underwood with her third foul trying to work inside against Jocelyn Scott. Scott has 15 to lead all scores. She is the only player in double digits for either team. Nautica Grant right wing back out to Gabby Bell. Bell will pull it all the way back out. Works at the top, feeds to Jocelyn Scott right wing. She'll drive in with the left hand all the way. Fouled and gets the bucket to fall. Jocelyn Scott picks up the fourth foul on a Shaley Braley. So Braley now with four. And Jocelyn Scott goes to the line to try to complete the three-point play. She's got 17 in this ballgame. She has 17 of her team's 29. Second free throw is good. Scott now with 18 of her team's 30. And a Shaley Braley who has seven points to go along with three rebounds is going to have to leave for a while with four fouls. Lady Demons down 33-30. On defense with 6.47 left to go in the third quarter of action. Tyler Morrison off the screen to the right side. Gives it up top. Charlie Dugas drives the left side. Shot blocked by Gillum, but the rebound out of bounds. Off of Tia Youngblood. It'll stay Southeastern basketball. Lady Demons will line up three across in front of the rim to prevent anyone from getting a layup opportunity. They lob it out long. Charlie Dugas back to Taylor Underwood. She'll drive left baseline, pull it back to the corner, drive again, cut off, flips it back out, right wing, into the right corner. That's in the hands of the point guard, Tyler Morrison. She drives all the way, flips it up, no good. Offensive tip up, no good. Tia Youngblood clears the rebound. Here comes Gabby Bell. Bell crosses to the middle, flips it left wing. Scott for three. Front iron, backboard, and in for Jocelyn Scott with 21. She has 11, all 11 points in the second half have been scored by Jocelyn Scott. Lady Demons have 11, Jocelyn Scott has all of them. She has 21 points in this ball game. Ball at the free throw line, right down the lane, easy lay in for Kyla Williams. Her first points of the ball game makes it 35-33. Scott has it, she'll bring it into the front court. Work to the, to the side, now turn it over, trying to throw it into the right wing. Back the other way, Dugas. She'll drive the right side, lay it up, no good. Offensive rebound, and that ball goes out of bounds off of Taylor Underwood. It'll belong to the Lady Demons. 5.32 left to go. Demon, Lady Demons are down by two, 35-33. Jocelyn Scott has outscored Southeastern 11-6 in the third quarter by herself. Nautica Grant penetrates right side. Libba Gillum jumper is strong from 12 on the right baseline, and that ball is knocked out of bounds by NSU. Gillum had a good look. 
It's only her third shot attempt of the entire game. She only played eight minutes in the first half with foul trouble. Gillum coming off of a 17-point performance against Incarnate Word had 30 in the first matchup with Southeastern to go along with 10 rebounds. It was her highest scoring game of her career. The cutter on the left side, layup missed, but a foul will be called as Kyla Williams cut down the left side, slipped the screen. Foul called on Nautica Grant, that's her first. So Southeastern will go to the line to shoot two here. 5.09 left to go in the third quarter of action. Northwestern State down 35-33. The story of this one, Jocelyn Scott, 21 points. And she has scored all 11 here in the third quarter. First free throw is good for Kyla Williams. She's got three. 36-33, and she is not led in this game. They've been tied at two and tied at 33. That's it. Both free throws good for Kyla Williams. She's got four. Gabby Bell pressured, gives it over to Libba Gillum. Gillum back to Bell. Bell brings it into the front court, skips it left wing to Scott. Throws it back out to Bell. 19 to shoot. Libba Gillum on the right wing, looking inside. Going to lob it over the top into traffic, but it's picked up by Youngblood. Youngblood drives her shot blocked. Rebound pulled down by Southeastern. Tyler Morrison lobs it ahead. Shulvin will drive the right baseline. Turn around, shot blocked by Gillum, but the offensive rebound by Underwood. Underwood drives all the way down the right side. That's going to be a blocking foul on Tia Youngblood. Tried to get over in time to draw the charge, but was late rotating over. Youngblood picks up her second. I think we've got our under five minute media timeout. 4.34 left to go in the third quarter of action. Northwestern State down 37-33. Jocelyn Scott has outscored Southeastern in the third, 11-10. You're listening to the Demon Sports Network. Independence Bowl, Chevy Land, Bear Town and Country, Manpower, Mike and Kenny Knotts, Salter Bus Lines, and Kilpatrick Life. Lady Demons are down by four, 37-33. The Lady Demons have outscored Southeastern Louisiana 11 to eight here in the third quarter. Now why that is significant, is because it is Jocelyn Scott 11, Southeastern Louisiana 8 in the third quarter. First free throw by Taylor Underwood is no good. Underwood comes in as a 78% free throw shooter. She only has four points, averages 18 a game. Second free throw is good. Underwood's got five, playing with three fouls now. Five-point lead for Southeastern, 38-33. Gabby Bell will bring him to the front court, breaking the pressure. 424 remaining. Bell out long, man-to-man -man defense for Southeastern. Bell to Nautica Grant, left elbow. She'll drive in, trip, no call, loses the basketball. Back the other way, Shulvin brings it up the left side. Bounce pass to Underwood, layup up and good for Taylor Underwood. She's got seven, and suddenly the lead is back to seven. Bell loses it, gets it back, loses it again. Flips it ahead, tough catch for Jocelyn Scott. In back to Bell. Bell will work it back out. Could have very easily been Underwood's fourth foul on that last possession. 
as Nautica Grant tripped over her going in. They lob it inside to Scott. Scott, easy lay in. Great lob from Libba Gillum to Jocelyn Scott. She's got 23 again. All 13 points in the second half have come from Jocelyn Scott. No one else has scored for the Lady Demons here in the second half. Underwood fires a three, misses it badly. Gillum collects the rebound, knocks Nautica Grant down in the process. Back the other way, they fired ahead. Scott left open for three, short. Rebound to Underwood, she'll bring it out. It's a two on two. Underwood up the right-hand side, crosses to the middle, spins baseline, shot up is good, and she's fouled as she falls to the deck, just sort of threw it up. Got the foul on Gabby Bell, and the shot fell for her. Bell will pick up her third. Underwood suddenly has nine, and she's picked up her pace quite a bit. The lead is back to seven as Jocelyn Scott looked like she's come up a little bit gimpy. She'll trot off the field, or off the court, I should say. Jocelyn Scott has all the offense here in the third quarter for the Lady Demons. She has scored 13 third quarter points. It's Jocelyn Scott 13, Southeastern Louisiana 13 here in the third quarter. Scott has 23 now in this ball game. Her career high is 13, but not anymore. Free throw is good for Underwood. She's now got double digits with 10. Lead has been pushed back to eight. Jada Freeman brings into the front court, flips it back to Nautica Grant. Grant works off a screen to the right wing, looking inside to Gillum, can't get it there. Now back up top to Youngblood. She'll lob it inside to Gillum. Gillum, tough catch, now goes up, she's fouled. That was an easy foul call on Caitlin Williams. Williams picks up her second personal. So now we may see the first non-Jocelyn Scott point of the third quarter. Scott has scored all 13 for the Lady Demons here in the third quarter. Libba Gillum goes to the line to try to add someone else to the point total, and she does. So it's Jocelyn Scott 13, Libba Gillum 1 here in the third quarter for the Lady Demons. Scott with a new career high 23. Gillum makes both. She's got four points, all of the charity strike. That's the lead to six, 43-37. Imperative for Lady Demon stay within striking distance going into the fourth quarter. Ball in the right corner, Underwood. She'll drive right baseline from there, skip it back out all the way to the left baseline. Jumper from there is no good. Rebound Tia Youngblood. She'll lob it back out. Youngblood will come back up with it off the tip. Gives to Jada Freeman. Freeman will bring it into the front court herself right in the middle. Gives to Nautica Grant out long. Two and a half left to go. Lady Demons down six with a basketball. Gillum right wing. Up top to Freeman. Freeman looking. Now right wing to Grant. Skips it inside. Gillum. Gillum skips it back out. No one's there and throws it to John Evans. Unfortunately for the Lady Demons, John Evans not eligible. Been a long time since his eligibility ran out. So Lady Demons turn it over. Southeastern will have the basketball. They get it in the corner for Underwood. She'll stop and fire a three. Misses everything. Long rebound. Shulvin will drive in. Shulvin with the left hand. No good. Ball is loose on the floor, and that'll be a jump ball. Possession will go back to the Lady Demons. So another good defensive possession for NSU. They don't give up any more points, but they've got to find a way to get points on the ball, get to put points on the board. A minute 57 left to go. We'll check in over at Brown Stroud Field. Top of the eighth inning, and the Demons are now down eight to three. Nautica Grant ahead to Libba Gillum, right corner. She fires it back out to Grant. Nautica Grant, left elbow to Tia Youngblood, turns to face. Youngblood dribbles at the left hand, goes up with it, hits it, and she's fouled. Tia Youngblood with the strong drive down the left side. Draws the foul on Kyla Williams, her first. First points of the ball game for Tia Youngblood, the senior from DeRitter. Eight points, six rebounds against Incarnate Word in midweek action. Lady Demons fell in that one by four, 57-53. So Youngblood goes to the line to try to complete the three-point play and does not, but the Lady Demons get the offensive rebound. Jasmine Johnson tipping it out long to herself. 
Grant has it out long, now at the top, flips it left elbow to Youngblood again. Youngblood flips it inside and right past Jasmine Johnson, was looking for Johnson to sort of cut back toward the rim on a little high-low pass, and unfortunately Johnson wasn't ready for it. The Lady Demons turn it over. That is the 11th turnover of the ball game for the Lady Demons. It's actually pretty good for them, and we're going to have a hold underneath on Jada Freeman. Freeman will pick up her second personal. That's the fourth team foul against the Lady Demons. Either team will shoot two on the fouls the last minute 16. Lob to Shulvin, three left wing, no good. Rebound pulled down by Freeman. She'll turn and come out with it herself. Bring it into the front court, lobs it left side. Onto the baseline, Nautica Grant. Grant throws it back out, turns it over. Ball is loose, it's gonna be knocked out of bounds off of Southeastern's Kyla Williams at half court. It'll belong to the Lady Demons. Good effort by Jasmine Johnson to get out there. Thing is, Nautica Grant, if she had taken a, just a half a step, second longer, she would have seen that Tia Youngblood had a beautiful seal for her. Grant could have just turned and rolled right to the basket and laid it in. Libba Gillum right wing, looking inside as Shulvin takes a dive. Now Johnson has it, ball comes loose. It's picked up by Southeastern. They throw it out, but Nautica Grant will come with it. Nope, and actually Underwood does. Here comes Underwood. She throws it ahead up the right side. Shot is no good, but the foul called on Libba Gillum. Caitlin Williams up with it, but Gillum will pick up her third foul. So Underwood averaging 18 points a game. She's got 10, six here in the third quarter. Meanwhile, Libba Gillum averaging just under 11 a game, but has had 17 in the last couple since coming back. He's averaged 17 in the last couple. Libba Gillum just four points. First free throw on the way. High arcing and good for Caitlin Williams. She's got seven. Makes it 44-39. Second free throw, also high arcing. Back rim, no good. Rebound pulled down by Jada Freeman. Freeman will bring it into the front court. Working out long, gives to Libba Gillum on the left wing. Now to Jasmine Johnson, high screen and roll with Gillum. Johnson to the top, tried to throw it inside, turned it right over to Shulvin. Shulvin trip, loses it, and then a late foul call is going to be called on Jada Freeman. Freeman will pick up her third. Well, Nautica Grant could, have def could definitely be upset about that. She had the exact same thing happen to her on the other end where she penetrated. Her feet got tangled up with Taylor Underwood, and she hit the deck. No foul call, and it ended up being a turnover. So certainly understandable if Nautica Grant doesn't, doesn't like the fact that she didn't get that exact same call on the other end of the floor a few minutes earlier. First free throw, no good for Jacqueline Shulman. As Charlie Dugas will check in for Taylor Underwood. Underwood now with 10. Second leading scorer in the Southland Conference at 18 a game. First in the conference in most made threes per game and overall and three-point percentage. One of two free throws falls for Shulvin. She's got six, 45-39. Youngblood into the front court, breaking the pressure. Hand off to Nautica Grant. 12 seconds left. The Lady Demons down six, 45-39. Grant's going to have it on the last, last possession. Five seconds. Grant drives back to the three. Gillum rattles it home with two on the, on the clock. And that's how the third quarter will end. Libba Gillum knocks down the triple. And Northwestern State cuts the lead to three going in to the final quarter. 45-42. Southeastern with the lead. Gillum her first bucket. It's six for Gillum, and the Lady Demons down three as we head to the fourth quarter. You're listening to the Demons Sports Network.
Women's Sports Network broadcast. Brought to you by State Farm agents Buddy Wood, Jim Fletcher, Lynn Talbert, Mike Murphy, Linda Luck, Tommy Chester, Trey Murray, Vicki Walker, and Julie Henderson. Northwestern State down by three. Liva Gillum with a big three right up against the buzzer. Actually hit it with two seconds left. Lady Demons shot 64% in that third quarter. Seven of 11, they were three of five from three. Now shooting 42% for the game. Southeastern just 31% in the third quarter, just 36% for the game, but they lead by three. On the left wing, up top to Dugas. She'll drive the right baseline. Wild scoop, no good. Gillum collects the rebound. She'll flip to Gabby Bell. Jocelyn Scott, leading score back into the ballgame. Nautica Grant, three from the right corner, short. Gillum collects the rebound. She'll drive back in with it, loses it. Ball put, tipped out, and it's going to be a run out for Charlie Dugas. Dugas will take it all the way and lay it in. 11 for Dugas, 47-42, Southeastern with the lead. Lady Demons have not wilted under this full court press. Grant skips it left corner. Jocelyn Scott for three. Yes, Jocelyn Scott, 26. She has doubled her previous career high. Her previous career high was 13. She's now got 26 points. Unbelievable performance for Jocelyn Scott as Gabby Bell is going to be called for a reach-in foul. Bell picks up her fourth. Jordan Dupuis saying, why? Now you've got four and you're pulling yourself out of the game. When you've got three fouls at that point, you can't gamble. And Jordan Dupuis, as soon as she comes, Gabby Bell comes over and says, why, Gabby, why? No reason to gamble there when you have three fouls. Just play good, solid defense. Ball in the left corner, drive left baseline into traffic, back out left wing, drive from there. Shot is blocked by Gillum. Rebound offensive inside, and the putback is good for Charlie Dugas. Dugas has 13, makes it 49-45. Nautica Grant, tough catch. She'll bring it into the front court. She is stripped, but a foul is going to be called. Foul called on Charlie Dugas. That's her first. 49-45, the lead for Southeastern. The Lady Demons have not led in this ball game. Jocelyn Scott gets the inbound into the corner. Jada Freeman inside to Liva Gillum. Gillum turns. Puts it up, no good. Offensive rebound, Youngblood. Youngblood under the baseline, back to Gillum. Gillum will drive, she goes up. That one's good, and the foul! Libba Gillum driving to the middle. Foul called on Kyla Williams, her second. Gillum now has eight. Cuts the lead to 49-47. Gillum to the free throw line to try to complete the three-point play. Lady Demons looking to have two double-digit scores for the first time in seven games. They have gone six consecutive games with just one double-digit score. Well, they've got Jocelyn Scott with 26. Now Libba Gillum with nine. After she made that beautiful layup, came in, went spun baseline then back to the middle and she now is in double digits. So for the first time in seven games, the Lady Demons have two double digit scores, Gillum and Jocelyn Scott, and they're down by one, 49-48. Ball at the top, Dugas off a screen. Is it out long? Three on the way from there is missed badly. Rebound, it's an offensive rebound, but a foul is gonna be called on it. Underwood got her hands on it and Jocelyn Scott committed the foul. Her second Personal, Jordan Dupuis just head down. His team fighting hard, down one. Lady Demons have not led in this ball game. Underwood has it right wing. Works off a screen, now guarded by Nautica Grant. Puts it on the back cut right baseline. Shot blocked by Gillum. Another offensive rebound for Southeastern. Drive from the left side, nowhere to go. On the back cut now, right down to the lane in the left baseline. Jumper from there is good. Charlie Dugas has 15. Lady Demons down three, 51-48, and then turn it over against the pressure. Ball will go out of bounds. They're going to stay off of Southeastern, though. Luckily for the Lady Demons, they did not turn it over. First time we've really seen them struggle against this pressure. 
Lob it ahead to Jada Freeman. Freeman works between the defenders and just turns it straight over. Dugas back the other way. Shot is no good, but she's fouled by Nautica Grant, who runs over and picks her up. Good sportsmanship there from Grant. Dugas, the sophomore, had 12 points and four rebounds in the first matchup. She's got 15 in this one, as both teams have two double-digit scores tonight. By the way, coming up 30 minutes after this game, we'll have Demon basketball against Southeastern as the first free throw from Dugas is no good. Jasmine Johnson will replace Jada Freeman. Freeman is doing a little bit too much, trying to dribble between a double team and getting it stripped away. Lady Demons have now turned it over 15 times in this game. Second free throw rattles around and falls for Dugas. She's got 16 to lead the way for Southeastern. Back to a four-point lead for the Lady Lions. 7.28 left to go. Full court pressure again. The Lady Demons this time will pass it across, which is how they should. Ball in the right corner. Gillum for three. Front iron no good. Rebound pulled down by Underwood, and she's just sort of cross-checked by Libba Gillum. Gillum will pick up her fourth personal. Gillum heads up, turns and says it's my fourth, and so Leah Barnes will check into the ball game. Jordan Dupuis telling Gillum, look, don't commit that kind of a cheap foul. I need you. You've got to stay in the ball game. 7-14 left. Lady Demons down four. Need to get a defensive stop here. Underwood has it right corner. She'll drive with the left hand. Backs it all the way down. Oh, traveled, not called. Throws it back out. Jacqueline Shulvin will work off the high screen. Works down the right side of the lane. Shot up wildly, no good. Rebound is going to be offensive. Shot clock should have never reset, I don't think. They get it underneath. Shot is blocked by Youngblood out of bounds. So. 6.44 left, 26 on the shot clock. Southeastern will get it in on the right baseline. Spin inside, just over the rim and good for Kyla Williams. She's got six. All the loose balls right now are going the way of the Lady Lions. Jocelyn Scott will bring it into the front court, works to the right baseline. Throws it back out to Nautica Grant, left wing to Jasmine Johnson. Screen and roll for her. Stops at the free throw line, skips it right wing to Grant. She'll flip it back underneath. Great drive, layup missed. Leah Barnes will miss the lay-in, and Southeastern clears the rebound. Shulvin, left baseline, drives, steps under, sort of pushes off, and we're going to get a timeout taken by Southeastern Louisiana. Ayla Gazzardo calling that timeout. That'll be a media as well. 6.06 left to go. Northwestern State down by six. We'll take a break, come back with more after this. You're listening to the Demon Sports Network. You can also follow us on Instagram at, at MSU Demons and Snapchat at Demons NSU. So six left to go, Northwestern State down by six. By the way, over at Brown Stroud Field, Northwestern State is down eight to three in the bottom of the eighth, but they do have two on in the bottom of the eighth with two out with J.P. LaGreco up, who is the cleanup hitter for the Demons, though he is 0 for three today. So uh, maybe Demons can scratch a few across here in the bottom of the eighth and make it a ball game in the bottom of the ninth. And instead he flies out to left field. 
and uh, the, lady, the uh, Demons will take an 8-3 deficit into the ninth at Brown Stroud Field. Southeastern will lob it in. They get it into Caitlin Williams. Southeastern leads by six. The Lady Demons doing a nice job, but just not getting any of the loose balls they need to. Again, loose ball. It's flipped out to Underwood. Flipped back over, but out of bounds, Caitlin Williams. Southeastern turns it over for just the seventh time in this ball game. Full court pressure again by Southeastern. Kia Youngblood turns it over. Tried to throw it out to Nautica Grant and just threw it right over her head and out of bounds. And Jordan Dupuis just shakes his head. Demons and Lions will follow this one. The Lions tied for second in the Southland Conference, a game back of Nichols on the men's side. Demons coming off their first win in conference play. They work it inside to Kyla Williams. Spins with the left hand, no good, but she's fouled by Jocelyn Scott, and that's Scott's third. The Lady Demons have gone ice cold. They cut the lead to one at 49-48, but it's been five in a row since then. The last bucket for NSU has happened nearly three full minutes ago. It was a Libba Gillum layup. First free throw is good for Williams. She's got seven all in the second half. 55-48. The story of this game, though, for NSU is Jocelyn Scott with a career-high 26. Second free throw is no good. And once again, the loose ball tracked down by Southeastern. The Lady Demons are getting killed on the offensive glass. That is at least their 16th offensive rebound for Southeastern in this ball game. Ball on the left wing. Tyler Morrison with 12 to shoot. Dribbles to the right elbow, down the right side, back out. Shulvin penetrates, slips through. Oh, she traveled, didn't get called. Back to the right wing, drive from there. Shot blocked by Youngblood. She takes it down from her. Nautica Grant, she'll push into the front court, lob it ahead left side. Into the lane it goes. Layup is just an air ball. Leah Barnes just missed a little two-footer after she spun into the lane and had an uncontested look. Looks like she may have been hit on the face, or she's sort of holding her face and blinking a little bit. Ball out long, left wing. Shulvin, Lady Demon, just empty possessions offensively. Shulvin will back it out with seven to shoot. High screen and roll. Picked up by Jocelyn Scott. Crossover dribble, spins inside. Right elbow jumper, back iron, no good. Leah Barnes goes and collects it. Jasmine Johnson will bring it into the front court. Nautica Grant in the right corner. Pump fakes, drives with the left hand, steps through. Now to Youngblood right baseline. Back to Grant, right wing. Top of the key, Barnes. Left wing, Scott, 15 to shoot. Top of the key, Barnes, 13 to shoot. Barnes to Grant, right wing. High screen and roll. Grant at the top with eight to shoot. Works with the dribble, works to the left hand, and she's fouled. Third foul called on Southeastern Louisiana. Jacqueline Shulvin will pick up her third personal. We'll have our under five media timeout. Four minutes exactly left to go. Northwestern State down seven. You're listening to the Demon Sports Network. And you can get fresh ham to bed and free Wi-Fi. And wake up each morning to their free hot breakfast. Hampton Inn and NSU basketball, a dream team. Western State is down by seven, 55-48. The Lady Demons have gone ice cold offensively. Last field goal for NSU was four minutes and 19 seconds ago. The Lady 
Stevens will inbound from the left baseline. Band finally stops playing as the ball is in play. Jocelyn Scott gets it in. We're going to have a hold. Called on Tyler Morrison. That's her second. So the Lady Demons will do it again from the left baseline, this time in a box formation. Cross screen at the bottom. A couple of folks diving. They tip it out to Jasmine Johnson. Out to Nautica Grant. 3.55 left. Lady Demons down seven. Need to be very efficient offensively. Grant on the right wing. Top of the key, Jocelyn Scott. Screen and roll. She'll go away from it to Barnes. Back to Scott. Works past the screen, picks up her dribble. She's going to take a three from the top, misses it to the right side, but Leah Barnes will track down the rebound, throw it back out to Grant. Fresh shot clock. First time the Lady Demons have tracked down a loose ball in a while. Grant crosses over, works off a screen from Youngblood, then just has it stripped away. I mean, literally just taken right from her pocket. Jordan Dupuis just rubs his eyes with his hands. As Grant just had it ripped away, now Gabby Bell and... Libba Gillum are going to have to check in. Both playing with four fouls. They lob it inside. That shot is good. And the foul on Youngblood. As Kyla Williams, about the fourth time or so that the Lady Demons have been victimized on the screen and roll when the screener slips the screen and goes right to the bucket. And they throw it right into the top. It almost works like a back cut, basically. Instead of a, normally when you screen and roll, when the ball handler comes off the screen, the screener then sort of works away from it, kind of back into the, away from where the ball handler is heading. That in time instead, they, the ball handler just goes straight to the rim. And Kyla Williams has nine all in the second half. It's an 8-0 run now for Southeastern. Kyla Williams did not score against NSU in the first matchup. She has nine in the second half of this one, and give her 10. The junior transfer from Hutchinson Community College. Southeastern now with a 10-point lead. Gabby Bell off the pass from Grant into the front court. Jocelyn Scott and then throws it back to Bell, who wasn't there. Ball is loose. Bell comes away with it, flips it ahead to Gillum in the left corner. Gillum picks up her dribble. Needs somewhere to go, and instead we're going to have a timeout taken by Jordan Dupuy. 2.52 left to go. Northwestern State in a lot of trouble right now. Down 10. The wrong end of a 9-0 run by Southeastern Louisiana. We'll take a 30-second break. 30 seconds and back with more on the Demon Sports Network. Southeastern leads by 10. Lady Demons lob it into Gillum, who just has it taken away. Jordan Dupuis begging for a foul call. Official Marlon Ramsey on the far side says no, it was not, as Underwood brings into the front court. It is a 9-0 run for Southeastern right now after the Lady Demons had cut the lead to 49-48. NSU has not had a field goal in nearly six minutes. They work it inside. Gillum gets the block, the save by Youngblood. And back the other way comes Gabby Bell. Bell works down the left side of the lane, stops at the free throw line, bucket. Gabby Bell's first points of the ball game. Makes it 58-50. Charlie Dugas gets it ahead of the pack. Out long to Underwood. With 2.09 left, lead is eight for Southeastern. Ball is tipped and Nautica Grant comes away with it. Grant flips it ahead and she's fouled. And that's going to be the fourth on Taylor Underwood. Underwood picks up her fourth. And so Nautica Grant goes to the line to shoot two. So just as soon as there was a 9-0 run by Southeastern, the Lady Demons could make four in a row of their own here. If they can knock down a couple of free throws from Nautica Grant, who has not scored in this game, she makes the first free throw. So Gabby Bell with her first points ends about a Almost a six-minute drought in field goals. And then Grant scoring her first point. It had been all Scott and Gillum in the second half. 
Grant makes both. Lady Demons have cut the lead to two possessions now. They get a trap in the corner and a timeout taken by Ayla Gazzardo. So the Lady Demons got the trap they were looking for. And now, we'll see if they can do it again. Down by six, we'll take a 30 second break. 30 seconds and back with more on the Demons Sports Network. Minute 58 left. Lady Demons down six, 58-52. Southeastern will be inbounding full court. See if the Lady Demons can find a way to get the ball turned over. Southeastern gets it into the corner. Spinning away from traffic is Morrison. She lobs it ahead up the left side. Layup is missed, but the rebound comes down to Underwood for Southeastern. Well, the Lady Demons got the missed lay-in by Charlie Dugas, but could not clear the rebound. Off the miss, drive to the right side, layup up and good for Dugas that time against Gillum. She's got 18, 60 to 52. Youngblood turns and brings it up herself. She'll flip it to the right wing. Scott will fire a three, no good front iron. Rebound to Youngblood, pulls it all the way back up to the corner, knocked away by Southeastern's Ashley Braley. And the ball will go all the way down the court. Sean Kierkoff, the Volleyball coach sitting in the expensive seats on the north side of the Coliseum. Grabs the ball and throws it back. Lady Demons will inbound from the left sideline. They lob it down to Gillum. Gillum tried to throw it across the lane to a cutting young blood and turned it over. Come on, come on, uh, that's not a microcosm of the season for the Lady Demons. Turnovers at inopportune times. Braley dribbling out long. We'll pull it all the way back out. We're going to have a stoppage of play. 12 on the shot clock. I'm not sure what the uh, stoppage is for. So they are going to check the monitor with a minute nine. The Lady Demons down by eight. So they'll go to the monitor to check. Uh, Marlon Ramsey, Timothy Hackett will uh, check things out. With a minute nine left to go, Lady Demons down eight. Don't forget, Northwestern State Demons will take on the Lions. Coming up here 30 minutes after this game is complete. The Lions tied for second in the Southland Conference. So the shot clock is, they put four seconds back on the shot clock. By the way, out at Brown Stroud Field, it's nearly a final here as Northwestern State down eight to three, so it looks like for the second consecutive weekend, the Demons are going to take games one and two of a weekend series and then drop the third one, so not able to sweep either time. They get it into the backcourt. That's gonna be a foul on Tia Youngblood as Tyler Morrison slips and falls at half court. Youngblood will pick up her fourth. And that'll be two free throws, although Morrison a little bit shaken up as Libba Gillum little offense-defense substitution here. Well, for the first time, the Lady Demons got two double-digit scores in the last seven games. Interestingly enough, until the 220 mark of the fourth quarter, the first free throw is good for Tyler Morrison. She's got three. Lady Demons had scored 26 points in the third and fourth quarters in the first 17 minutes and 40 seconds. And 24 of those 26 had come from Libba Gillum and Jocelyn Scott. Gillum collects the rebound off the missed free throw, flips it ahead to Nautica Grant. Grant into the front court, works to the left elbow. She'll drive with the right hand, loses it. Southeastern comes away with it. Well, again, basically the microcosm of the Lady Demon season at this point, inopportune turnovers. They lob it ahead in the corner. Back out to Underwood, she'll hold on to it. Lady Demons, I don't believe, are going to foul here, down nine with 43 seconds remaining. They skip it in the corner. Drive from there by Dugas. Shot blocked by Gillum. She can't quite save it. 
Libba Gillum picking up her fifth block of the ball game. Gillum comes in with just nine blocks on the season. Underwood three, left wing is good. Taylor Underwood's got 13. Lady Demons once again have kept her reasonably in check and Grant's gonna be fouled by Underwood and she will leave the ball game after making that three. So Jacqueline Shulvin will check in. Nautica Grant will shoot free throws on the other end. Lady Demons are down 12 now. After the Lady Demons cut the lead to one at 49-48, Southeastern has gone on a 15-4 run. Kind of reminiscent of what the Demons did against Incarnate Word on Wednesday. They closed the game on a 15-5 run. And pulled away and won their first Southland Conference game of the season. They will be next in 30 minutes. Grant, four points all at the free throw line all in the last couple of minutes. As Southeastern will break the pressure of the Lady Demons into the front court. The Demons are going to try to trap. They get a, a deflection, but right back to a Shaley Braley. Ball in the right corner, Shulvin with 15 to shoot. She'll pull it back out, hand it to Braley. Not good spacing there by the Lions, but Bela Gazzardo says just calm down with seven to shoot. Shot clock and game clock are nearly identical. Braley will pull a left elbow jumper. That one rattles around no good. And Tia Youngblood will collect the final rebound of her senior season here at home. And Northwestern State falls 64-54.